back in the corn. So today I did not feel like talking. This is gonna be a voiceover all the way through. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and turn on your post notifications per usual. So let's go. I'm starting out with crying on my couch from the mini controversy palette and I am packing that all over my lid. <laughs> be taking Tanacon from the conspiracy palette and that is gonna be like my base color for all the browns that are about to go into my crease because I think I used like three three or four something like that but yeah diffuse this color out as much as possible I'm taking Diarubia, which is in both of the Shane palettes, and I'm going to be adding that into my crease as well, but more focused on the outer corner than anywhere else. And the next shade I'm taking is a Sugar Pill Shadow from their C2 palette. It's like a chocolatey brown, but a little bit more red tone, and I'm going to be focusing that on my outer corner just to give it a little bit more definition. Next, I'm taking like this iridescent mermaid shade from NYX. I don't know the name of it. It's a random shade. I put that palette together myself and I'm going to be popping that into my inner corner for some brightness. And if you ever need your, your shimmers or your metallics to be a little bit more intense, you can always wet them with a water or a setting spray and it always does the job. And now I'm going to attempt to do my liner. I'm starting to like liner a little bit more, but I still fucking hate doing that shit. It's not easy. The people that be doing it so fast, I go back into my liner at least five times on each eye to fix mistakes. And you know what? I don't know what liner this is. It's old. I've had it for so long. I'm lucky I don't go blind with this. But hey, it's what I got. And I need to invest in a new one. And at this point, I was like, yeah, I did that. I'm done with my eye. That's going to be it until later. I did a whole dramatic under eye. And I thickened this liner like crazy. So get ready. I'm going to be taking this Jordana retractable lip liner like I always do. And this is the color Sedona Red. And I'm going to be overdrawing my lips like I, I love to overdraw my lips. But especially for red, oh my god. If you get it perfect, <gasps> it's so beautiful. But yeah, I'm just going to overdraw. And then I'm just going to slightly fill in my lips a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to move on to lipstick. And I'm going to be using my favorite lipstick of all time, which is Ruby Woo from MAC. Classic. But that was like the first lipstick that I ever fell in love with. And I still love it to this day. Moving on to the rest of my skin, I am contouring and I'm using the Wet n Wild Highlight and Contour Duo, I think it's called. This has become my favorite bronzer to contour with. I usually use Hula, which I still love, don't get me wrong, but this is affordable and it still works as great or even better, honestly. Um, but yeah, get those cheekbones, get that five head that I got. And then I'm going to attempt again. I always attempt when it comes to contouring my nose. I can never get it right because I have a crooked nose. So sometimes I enhance the crookedness of my nose. This time I tried to even it out, but it still looks fucking crooked to me. And then here I go attempting to show products upside down like a dummy. But this is the Fenty Kilowatt Girl Next Door in the Cheek Freak. Cheek Freak? highlight blush highlight blush i use that as both so yeah the kilowatt girl next door she freak highlight blush that's what i'm calling it Like I said, I'm going to be using this as my blush as well, but I'm going to be using the less intense, darker side of it, which is She Creek, and that's going to be like the base for my blush. I'm going to be taking Milani Luminoso, this musty, dusty, crusty freaking, look at that, it's broken. You look dusty, your hairline's uneven. This doesn't need any type of introduction. This is the same old Maybelline Great Lash, lots of lashes that I've been using. 
for I don't know how many years now since it came out. Guys, I was not supposed to do no lashes and no thick liner like I did. I was supposed to do a neutral brown eye with a very thin, thin liner, a bold lip, and call it a day. I'm going in with the LA Girl Jumbo Pencil in the color Seashells. And I'm going to be lining my waterline. And then I'm going back into that brown from the Sugar Pill Palette. And I am going to line my waterline under my waterline. And I thought I was done there, but I really wasn't. blending out that brown line and then going in with this black color NYC it's just a basic matte black but it's called NYC from the Morphe 25L palette and then now I'm gonna reline under my waterline with black I'm taking some clear lash glue and I'm gonna be applying some random kiss lashes they might be KPE 33s or KPE 34s I don't know once my lashes get used and taken out that box that's it for the name and with the power of editing I'm gonna change and boom this was the look I hope you guys enjoyed and again don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on your post notifications per usual. Bye guys.